cheese are different. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita Agbi and today is Monday and I'm going to be doing a morning routine vlog for you guys to see just so you get to experience what my own mornings are like so yeah let's get right into it shall we So you guys, I just felt I should tell you people about what it's like to live alone as a young female so that this cleaning and thing will not be so monotonous. So let us start. So I have, I have now uh, put my room in order, I have made my bed and um, just put away some stuff there uh, no matter how much you try to maintain the cleanness of your house once you are moving up and down things will get distorted so it's good to put everything back in order in the morning so i want to pick up my cleaning stuff my broom and packer and oh yes and the rag because I'll need that to um, clean and clean fast because I have other things to do today so it, it's just a normal morning routine it's not like I'm doing anything thorough like rearranging, resetting I don't have the energy for that so yeah yesterday I had I had a lot of my house was infested with cockroaches so i was very annoyed yesterday night because they were i didn't know that they used to fly like this so i guess lagos cockroaches are different they fly up and down easy breezy so Anyways, 
what was I saying? So, for me, um, I was really tentative about staying alone. I have been that, um, what would I call it, properly guarded person. So, I just, I was just enjoying the cover of family. My sister's cover, just always there. If I need advice, it's right there beside me. I'll just ask and all that. So, I didn't want to venture out on my own, but like I said in my first video, it was a godless thing. But now, I'm down to what I now enjoy. You see, when God does something for you, there are things you enjoy. So, down to what I now enjoy, staying on my own. The first thing is a lot of quiet. I get to experience a lot of quiet, a lot of peace and calmness. I can... Um, I have a lot of space to breathe and think and for my mind to now be more open you guys the plane just passed and it was quite noisy so yeah so what was i saying i said that i am now hopeful for a lot of things my dreams have become bigger um my hopes and i don't know whether it has anything to do with the increased responsibility i have on myself as well and increased reliance on self i'm now more self-reliant and more, and more responsible so i have to watch out for myself in terms of finances in terms of uh, security making sure that i am safe um putting boundaries on uh, who i let into and who i don't let into my life so these are just some of the things so i've experienced a lot of quiet because the truth is, when you're staying with people, there are a lot of distractions. I just watched a documentary on focusing, and they say the main distraction is in the mind. But personally, I think that when you have a bit of quiet, it's a bit easier. I won't say it's the easiest for you to uh, bring your mind to a particular space and just work on certain things. So... That is what staying alone has been like for me and just a lot of peace of mind i'm not going to tell you people about the general things the general arguments people will make but i'll just tell you people about the things that i personally have experienced and another thing is exposure because i have gotten to meet a different range of people and dif with different characters, different beliefs and ideas, uh, ideologies, and it has made me more enlightened because you, when you're staying in the same place for a very long time, you you know just so much. You know just things within that sphere and within that area. But when you get to branch out to other places, your knowledge bank becomes um, enlarged more broadened so that is what has happened for me especially as i moved states it's 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 really a, a, a different a different experience yeah i don't know if i did enough justice to the uh first video i did on the culture shock but however maybe sometime in the future i will do another one maybe just give me details of uh the the things I, I have seen here because it's really different. The, the culture here is different. The language, the common language here is different. So uh, it's, 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 a new, it's a new thing and new things are actually beautiful if you can just venture out and take the risk. So yeah, what else can I say? Living alone, I think the last thing I'll just say is how much of freedom of expression i have in terms of designing my space keeping things in the order that i want them to be and just not having to worry so much about someone that is beside me immediately uh, not that we should not care about people but you know it is what it is um 
when you're living with people directly there's a lot of concern so that's 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 what i've experienced and then i think it's a good thing for me because of the level to which i've gotten to know myself um i i mentioned it earlier of how i i can be quite reliant you know just having that advice close by uh, from those that are around you can make you quite reliant on them sometimes so i realized i was a bit very not a bit i was very reliant on my sister for a lot of things spiritually uh mentally you know just emotionally and i still i still am reliant on her to an extent but um i've gotten to be more confident in myself and in my decisions and in my choices for myself and just doing those things over and over making decisions for yourself over and over actually give you a stable footing in your values and in your operations pretty much so that is that is for one and for the confidence i'm telling you they say the first uh clothing or the first attire you should wear is confidence and staying alone has done that for me i have become more um confident in myself and it has a lot to do with the knowledge of self that i've acquired because when you don't know yourself enough you doubt yourself a lot Hmm, did I just did I just make a quote? <laughs> yeah, so when you don't know yourself a lot, you doubt your yourself a lot, you know. You just be very tentative about a lot of things. But now I can feel a bounce to my stride, not in a prideful way, but just in a self aware uh manner. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to be talking throughout the video but i wanted you people to know what it is like um for me to stay alone so now i'm just going to go about the rest of my routine and you guys can come along to do the kitchen which is not so dirty as you can see because i don't like a dirty kitchen but my gas cooker is my tabletop is dirty so i want to clean that before i mop anything that is not the floor i want to finish it before i mop is to clean up this space so I have put everything away now washed my tabletop bright and nice and I put away all the other stuff so this is how beautiful my kitchen is looking see if you don't have a clean kitchen and a clean toilet I can't associate with you these are these people are the cause of the problem in society yes yes <laughs> so take note of them anybody you meet like that take note of them <laughs> So you 
guys i am done now so this is what it is looking like pretty much looks like this most of the time it's looking immaculate after my magic fingers have touched it and i'm sure you can feel the the air even through the, your screen how calm and neat yeah i always feel fulfilled after i do this yeah now that we're done with cleaning the house it's time for me to also get clean then find some breakfast and then go about my daily business Sometimes I won't put pepper, but today I went. I wanted something less spicy, and there are no eggs in it because I don't want to feel any form of gas today. So that's it for today. You guys have seen how my mornings typically are, and hope you enjoyed this vlog. This is the first of more to come, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Rita signing out. Peace.